All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So let's do a quick showcase for the new AGL Super 17 Extreme Z Awakening that just dropped on the global side of the game. As you guys can see, he is at rainbow status, but he's got level one links as well as no skill orbs. So even though he's gonna be very, very good in this video, he could be even better. Now before we get into the gameplay, let's quickly check out his details. If you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute, okay? So first things first, we'll start with his new leader skill, which is Extreme AGL types keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%, and Super AGL types keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is reduces damage received by 40%, E plus 1 up to 3, attack plus 30% up to 150%, and an additional damage reduction of 6% up to 30% with each attack received. So basically, after taking 5 hits, he'll have his full passive activated. And he also gives target Goku category allies chance of performing a critical hit plus 17%. His links are Android Assault, Fear and Faith, Fused Fighter, Nightmare, GT, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Androids, Artificial Life Forms, Target Goku, Inhuman Deeds, and Power Absorption. So there you go, that is everything you need to know about Super 17's Extreme Z Awakening. And with all that said, let's jump in. We're running an Androids team here. And on the first rotation, we've got double support, at least attack support, from the LR androids. And defensively, as you can see, not really good. 56,650. That is actually pretty awful. But keep in mind that most of his damage reduction will come from, or ra rather, most of his tanking will come from the damage reduction. Okay, and we will get some defense support a little bit later on. So we should be getting over like you know, 80, 90, maybe 100,000 defense at some point in this showcase. But anyways, first turn, first attack. Okay, we tanked that for double digits, and we got 2.2 million, which uh, is actually okay, considering at this point in time, he only has 30% attack on his passive. Okay, so imagine if he's getting 2.2 million with 30% attack, then if he's at 150% attack after 4 hits, or 5 hits rather, um, his damage output is going to be really, really good. In fact, he is actually one of the harder hitting EZAs that we've had so far. Obviously not hitting as hard as like Fizz Vegito Blue. Like in fact, I would say Fizz Vegito Blue probably hits twice as hard as him, maybe even closer to 3 times with like all the counters and stuff like that. But uh, his damage to me at least, is really impressive. And then you combine his tanking, and when fully built up, right, with his full passive, he's getting 70% damage reduction, which makes him one of the best tanks in the game. So you combine the offense and the defense, and when it comes to the units that I like, I love, you know, that balance, right? I don't like units that only hit really hard with no defense, like glass cannons, and I don't like units that, I mean, I mind units that are only defensive less because at the very least you can use them on like hard events, right? So when it comes to stuff like, um, or units like, well I was gonna say the AGL Golden Frieza, but even now like with the EZA he can hit, and he can do some damage, right? So uh, I guess that's not valid anymore. But you know what I'm trying to say, right? Like I'd rather have a unit that is only defensive with no offense instead of only offensive with no defense. But that's not something we have to worry about with this guy because he does everything, man. He's got the offense covered. He's got the defense covered. He's just the, the full package, right? He's got like everything. So yeah, I really like him. He's probably my favorite. No, no, no. My second favorite EZA in the game right now, right under Fizz Vegito Blue. And I think it's going to stay that way until Bono Form Cooler eventually gets his Extreme Z Awakening. So that was a big jump in attack stat if you guys weren't paying attention. He went from 2.2 to, what was that, 3.5, 3.7? I kind of missed it to be honest, but that was a good amount of damage, man. 3.2 million crit, and he is gonna be critting a lot because he gives himself that 17% additional crit chance, and he's also getting 30% from the hidden potential system. 
So basically every other turn he should, or every other super, he should be getting a crit. So that also further enhances his damage output capabilities. And he's also, if you're running like a mostly, you know, uh, target Goku team, he's also allowing the rest of the category or the rest of the rotation to be, uh, to crit more too, right? So yeah, overall, just awesome. Like what else can I say? Offense, defense, a little bit of support, 17% crit chance is actually a lot. And uh, he's also on one of my favorite categories in the game too, the Andrews category. It was already one of my favorite teams, and now with uh, this guy's EZA, it's even higher on my list. So, yeah, I feel like when it comes to the showcase, when it comes to showcasing this guy specifically, and this team specifically, I might be a little bit biased, because I am a huge fan of the Androids, especially that one right there. Um, Android 18, you guys know about that though. Yo, refer to my recent post on Twitter if you don't understand just how much I uh, appreciate her. Anyways, moving on, let's focus on let's focus on Super 17 because he's obviously what we're here to showcase, and uh, he's he's doing really well. So this turn we have the one support. We lost the Android 18 support, but we should have a full built-up passive now, right? So we have 150% attack. 70% uh, damage reduction. Type disadvantage here, but I'm not expecting to take much damage at all. In fact, we might still be tanking for double digits here. Even for a super, let's see. Getting supered. Ooh, oh, you know what? We weren't fully built up yet. Okay, so that's fine, that's fine. I mean, number one, we didn't take that much damage, but we still had one more stack. So uh, for that super attack, we had 120% attack and we took the super with 64% damage reduction. All right, so now we have 70% damage reduction and we also have 150% attack. So that's my bad, I miscounted, miscalculated and uh, sold this guy short a little bit. Next turn, he's gonna be fully built up. All right, next turn he's gonna be fully built up. So we'll be good to go. Now, I did say, I did say he's my second favorite uh, EZA in the game, right? But I also think that he might be the second best EZA in the game too. All right, I do have to think about it a little bit more, but I think my current list goes Fizz Vegito Blue and then uh, Super 17. Now, now Fizz Vegito Blue is still up there because his damage is just so crazy. And he's of course uh, also doesn't take damage from normal attacks, right? So um, he's got the tanking down too, but but at the same time, super attacks can still punish him, especially if you only get like one or two supers, especially if you're on like extreme super bad road. You can still take quite a bit of damage from super attacks. Whereas for super 17, I feel like he's a little bit more consistent when it comes to tanking because, you know, that damage reduction doesn't discriminate between normal attacks and super attacks, right? So no matter what, you're still getting that 70% damage reduction. So yeah, tanking wise, I do trust 17 a bit more than, uh, Vegito Blue, but yeah, like I said, that that damage difference is crazy. I do think uh, once the calculations come out, I mean, I'm sure they're out there already. I haven't seen it though, honestly. Uh, I'm sure like Vegito Blue must at least do twice as much attack per turn as uh, Super 17. But look at that additional, holy crap, 4.6. What was the first one, 4.4? Yeah, if you guys hear some weird noise in the background, that's my dog. He's like jumping around because he wants to go for a walk. I think somebody else will get it. Not me right now, we're recording, but that's that's what that is. Um, yeah, yeah, there's not much else for me to say here, man. I've given my piece. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Princess Snake here because I don't trust uh, 13. Even though 13 has Good defense, over 200,000 here. A super attack, I remember I took like over 200,000 from this guy. So I'ma just be a little bit careful here, right? Just to make sure that we don't die before we get to, you know, fully showcase the 17. But you guys already are, have already seen quite a bit. It's just, I wanna get to at least Super Saiyan Blue Goku and maybe the, uh, the UI Goku to see how much a super attack from them would hit 17-4. Of course, without items, because that's going to be the real test. Any stage before that, even though they can still hit really hard, it's not quite the same. Like, the damage ramps up like crazy at Super Saiyan Blue, and especially UI. 
So with that said, this might hurt. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Um. Ow. I wasn't expecting that. Wait, were we, were we below 70% HP for that turn? Because he does get the additional damage reduction, right? When you're below 70 or 77%. We must have been. Because that's the only reason I can think of that he took like no damage from that super attack. Well, it looks like both 17s are impressing today. <laughs> I guess, I guess the Fizz 17 was like, yo, don't forget about me, man. I still can do things. I'm still impressive. Alright, so double digits for all the normals, even with a type disadvantage, 4.2 million attacks that. Um, it could have been even higher actually, but for my leaders, I brought the 13 for my leader and an LR Androids for the friend leader because I wanted that rotation with like double 40% supports. So yeah, we could have actually gotten even more attack from a double 170% leader. Probably would have been like 4.4, 4.5, something like that. But the point of this showcase really honestly was not to showcase like how much damage you can do, even though that was part of it. Um, the more important thing to me was to show you guys his balance, right? His offense and defense. And this guy, as far as like a, you know, whole package goes, um, it doesn't get much better than him, right? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, no. I didn't realize we had a Doken attack coming. Uh, oh, no. I wasn't ready. Well, that's okay. It wasn't like it was Super 17 with the Dokkan attack. So, we're fine. We're fine. I would have wanted to save it for Super 17, but with these showcases sometimes, like, I'm just talking and I'm not paying attention to what's happening in the game and stuff like this happens. Okay, so this turn, we are definitely not below 77%, and wow. There you go. See, that's the difference that that damage reduction or that lack of damage reduction makes. Right? Took 200,000 from a super here. Oh my god. That hurts. Alright, so this turn. Um, man. The LR androids and also Fizz or uh, Int uh, 21. They're gonna get punished pretty hard. But I don't wanna pop an item because that's gonna be an inaccurate you know, display of like what Super 17 can do. So I guess the only thing I can really do is just pray that we don't get supered in the second or third slot. If we do though, then it's meant to be. Okay, if we die here, then we were just supposed to die. <laughs> and that's just where the showcase is supposed to end. So I'm gonna leave it up to the Dokkan gods. I'm gonna leave it up to fate. Uh, 61, we're gonna super here. Perfect, perfect. So we should survive this turn. And we're gonna take... 32 damage 32 damage from a super saiyan blue goku super attack with no items active yo that is wild that is wild guys um yeah he's he's great <laughs> he's a great unit if you guys have him definitely uh extreme z awaken him as soon as possible and if you're struggling with super battle road or extreme super battle road um, the Androids category one, of course, or the, uh, what's the other one? Um, Extreme AGL, Extreme Super Battle Road. I would definitely recommend putting him on one of your teams and uh, see if it helps because he will definitely make a difference. I can guarantee you that. The only thing I would say is that if you're doing Extreme Super Battle Road, um, maybe use an item first, like use a Icarus or something in the beginning so that he can take a few hits build up some more damage reduction before you allow him to, you know, take attacks because uh, I tried it yesterday, right, with him fully extremely awakened and uh, even with the 40% damage reduction, he was still taking about 30,000 damage, 30 to 40,000 damage for normals. So he does need some built up uh, damage reduction first before you can allow him to take hits with no items but that being said after he's fully built up after he's at uh 70 damage reduction he will be taking double digits uh for normal attacks on extreme super bad road which of course is super clutch right and then he's gonna be doing a lot of damage too so he's gonna be taking out people for you so yeah i love him 
<laughs> I don't know if that was clear or not. I love this unit, man. I'm really glad he's finally on global. And I'm glad I can bring you guys this showcase. And uh, let's move this guy over here. Uh, now we have the double 40%. Um, double 40% support. So we should be getting pretty much the highest possible attacks that we can get on this team, right? And it's 4.38. I guess that's where we cap off. Once again, on this team, you could build a different team. Oh, look at that additional 4.67. Never mind, I forgot about the additional. So, uh, yeah, greatly raising defense tw twice gets us 4.67. And that for this team will be his maximum, which I think is really good combined with the tanking. If this was like all, let's say like he had like average defense and he was putting up numbers like this, then I wouldn't really be impressed at all, right? Uh, crap. Nobody on this rotation can tank, guys. I think we're dead. Unless I pop a Icarus, but then if I pop a Icarus, it's not really gonna be a good showing for next turn. Um, okay, you know what? Let's just let's just go for. Actually, I meant to do Icarus. I don't know why I used Whis. That made no sense whatsoever. That was a waste of a Whis. I'm sad now, but it's okay. You know what? It's for the video. You guys are worth it. Whatever. Um, what was I trying to say again? I forgot. Uh, well, one thing I'm asking myself right now is why did I put? 17 in front of most of the attacks even though he has the most defense right he still have types he still has type disadvantage so that was kind of dumb we're not making many smart moves at the end of this video i probably should have ended it after that last turn because <laughs> that was like really good with the double supers and now um it's not looking so good yeah now it's not looking so good uh so we have the icarus active keep that in mind um Ooh, we, we probably are gonna die anyways unless i pop another item which i i'm not going to um the lr androids i think will get us killed i think the lr androids will get us killed so yeah it's not gonna work out guys i tried i tried like we're, we're getting super here it's gonna be double digits but we do have the uh item active it really sucks i wish there was a a, a function for us to actually cancel um, support item effects, you know, so that we can, uh, you know, only have them active like when we want them to. And for showcases like this, I can just like cancel the Whis effect and see what he takes with just his damage reduction. But you know what? I'm gonna say it. He was not gonna take much damage anyways with the type of advantage with 70% damage reduction. Um, it would have been fine. So just take my word for it because we're gonna die here. Wait a second. Did the androids not get hit? Oh, did we dodge? Oh, we might have dodged. Interesting. Oh, well, let's try this. Okay, so we might be able to kill UI Goku if we get um, 16 to crit a couple times, right? His first super is gonna do like quite a bit of damage. It's gonna be like over 4 million attack, I believe. And then, yeah, if we get an additional also crit, is additional guaranteed? It might be guaranteed. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> so yeah, if we get the additional crit, then we might make it to UI Goku, MUI Goku, on the next turn. Okay. Oh man. No, I think we're dead. I think it's over. We tried. I tried really hard. Oh oh. Oh no, there's like a million attacks after uh after 18. Well, guys, that is going to be the showcase. Um, <laughs> I have never tried so hard to survive in a you know, LGE showcase, but it, just, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Just take this showcase as having ended at uh, the final phase or the, at, at the last turn on Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and uh, we'll be okay. So that is... The Super 17 Extreme Z Awakening for you. Um, as you guys saw, man, just an amazing, amazing tank. Some very impressive damage output, considering how tanky he is. Just the, the full package, offensively and defensively, plays on both sides of the court, or field, sports analogy. 
And uh, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.